What's going on everybody? It's Tree Man coming at you with this fresh new video. Today we're going to be breaking down the car situation that I told you guys about back in that video titled Introduction to the Channel. I told you how I had some content coming about my car situation and the reason I wanted to bring that up in the first place actually is because if you go to my channel you might notice that my banner is a car that looks strangely like this one sitting behind me. That That's the banner I have for my YouTube channel. And at the same time the car in my profile picture is a totally different car. So we're going to be getting into why that is, what it is, right about now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment, a like, and if you're not subscribed, to subscribe down below. So let's get right in. Alright, so as you just heard me say, this car behind me, is the car that's in my channel banner. Almost got those backwards in. Um, it is the car that's in my channel banner. And it is my old BMW. It's a 2004 545i, so it's got a 4.4 liter V8 in it. It was alright. It's a car that's like been in my family for a long time. By the time it got to me, it had 200,000 miles on it. And I basically was just kind of driving it until it died. It isn't all the way dead, but it's kind of on its last leg. I, I started it to move it to where it is now, and a giant chunk of smoke from oil shot out the back. Like, I'm sure my neighbors or anyone within like a five mile radius saw it, and it's like, there's a wildfire out here, or someone sent in smoke signals, some shit like that. And so like, last September, I want to say, this car finally got to the point where it was, it was doing that too often and too bad to daily drive. So I had to go out and get a new car. The only thing was I didn't really know what kind of car I wanted to get. I had a couple of ideas on what I wanted to get, but I didn't really, I didn't have the money either. I had like $500 to maybe $700 ready. I had to go get a loan from somewhere and I wanted to find the right car to get a loan on. And it started me on this really long trip. Hang on, I gotta switch hands on this really long trip that actually ended in Sacramento, California. And I am up in Southern Oregon, a small town called Cave Junction. If you know where that is, you know what's up. Anyways, so I drove all the way down to Sacramento to pick up what is now my car, which I will be showing you here in a second, uh, because it just, it, it was the perfect car. It is, I don't know what else to really say about it without giving away what it is. So we're just gonna take a couple steps over here and do the dramatic spin that you all love so much from my desk video. We're gonna move it to the car video. Oh, if I put my arm up, you won't see it. Here it is. This is my 2002 uh, Subaru WRX. I mean, you know, what can I say about Subarus that most people don't already know? You got the four cylinder boxer motor, comes turbocharged. It's also the first car I've ever owned that's a manual. That car is not a true manual. It's, it's this weird thing called SMG. So it's it's like battle shifters basically. There's no clutch. But this was the first car I got to get like down and dirty with and get get in it with. And if you're wondering why I had to go all the way to Sacramento to pick up a WRX, because if you know just a little bit about car scene in Oregon, these things are really fucking popular here in Oregon because all-wheel drive works great in the winter. I mean, that's, and they're fun and easy to work on, easy to mod. They're a good starter platform, so a lot of people get them. The reason I went all the way to Sacramento to get this particular one is because it's been motor swapped from the standard stock USDM WRX motor to a Japanese STI motor called an EJ207, which is much stronger and revs out another thousand revs higher than the standard motor does. And the guy had it in California, but since he motor swapped it, it would never, ever pass smog again. And he basically had to get rid of it. And so I found it on Craigslist, and I, I knew that that light bulb turned on in my head. I'm like, yo, he's never going to be able to pass smog. This is the car for me. And so... It's got a couple dings here and there, you know, it's almost a 20-year-old car, so they're 
are going to be a little bit of dings here and there. I am struggling to hold my phone right now. But we're going to switch to the front facing lens and get some more shots, especially up under the engine bay for you. So we'll be right back. Let me just do All right, you guys. So this was the next part I wanted to talk about, which was under the hood of the Subaru, actually. So I'm going to give you a quick shot of what is that, uh, that Japanese motor. You can really tell the difference because the standard WRX motor does not come with an intercooler this big. I did not just spray paint STI on it. The standard stock WRX intercooler is like half the size of this. So the turbo doesn't breathe as well. Uh, you can see the turbo back there. Playing peekaboo. Another one of the uh, things that's different about this is the turbo itself. This motor comes with a twin scroll turbo. What that means is there are two inlets to let in air at the same time so you get a faster spool up effect. I hope you guys like my little hand signals down there. A faster spool, more boost. Not necessarily more boost, you just get boost quicker. Although this particular turbo does hold more boost than the stock turbo that comes on this car. It's got the short ram, but I believe this air filter is the wrong size because it has a tendency to pop off of the rest of it. In fact, I just spent like 10-15 minutes wrestling with it to get it back on there so that it was on there for this video. But it, that's what made me finally come to the conclusion that that's got to be the wrong size filter. It's like the size below the one I need. Have the nice strut bar up top to keep everything all together. There are a lot more things I want to do to this car. Uh, like I said, I've just been making sure it runs all the time because it is my daily driver. But I love it. I will be uploading some videos driving it here soon. Uh, I want to focus on getting really as much content on the channel as possible with a couple of different categories like you guys have seen the gaming content this is going to be the car content and there's some music stuff I'm going to show you guys soon but that's all in the works let me hop back over to the face cam and we'll wrap this video up real quick alright you guys well I hope you enjoyed this video like I said this is just the beginning of the uh especially of the car content. This is the first video I've uploaded since I uploaded that video a while back, driving on my road, which is actually the most viewed video on my channel and is the main reason I want to go and get another GoPro or a camera like that that I can put on the roof of that car, on the hood, on like the side fender well over there so you can get the side shots of it. I don't want to just be like... What I've been doing on for my Instagram videos is I would take my phone and mount it to like you know the phone mount that attaches to the window right there that way you can get the cockpit view of me driving the car but to get some real good footage for you guys and make some nice like couple minute like 10 minute long youtube videos of it i need to get myself another camera again so as soon as that happens then we'll be getting a lot more footage driving the car uh, i am going to start uploading videos once i start working on it again right now the main focus is the computer because the computer will allow me to more thoroughly run my youtube channel i i've been amazed with what I can do with just my cell phone so far but with the computer like I said the possibilities are endless so I hope you enjoyed the introduction to my little Subaru it's my little baby if you love it like I do follow me on Instagram I do a lot more posting about this thing on Instagram uh, I just finished washing it actually that's why it looks so clean and the ground might look a little bit wet in certain spots until next time this has been tree man signing off oh I almost forgot if you're not subscribed please subscribe. We're on the road to try to get to that first 100 subs. We're at 10. So please, guys, we got to get to that first 100 subs. It's all uphill. It's all uphill. We need it all. We need all the help we can get. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Tree Man.